Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit more fun, and I thought I would take the Australian citizenship test as an Australian. I'm a proud Australian, I know quite a bit about Australia, but I'm going to put my knowledge to the test and see if I can pass the Australian citizenship test. So let's get into it. So I found like a chapter of the test, so it's kind of like 20 questions that can be put into a much longer test. So I'm going to see how well I do. I think you need to get like a certain number to pass, so let's see if I can actually pass this test. And the first question is, what is the first sentence of the Australian Citizenship Pledge? A. I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people. B. From this time forward, under God, or C, I pledge my loyalty to Australia under God. So I'm going to say B, from this time forward, under God, because I feel like the first one, I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people, sounds like the second to that. So I'm going to go for that one. And that was correct. <laughs> Next question. New question number two. Who were Australia's first inhabitants a aboriginal and maori people b australia and torres strait islander people or c british convicts and chinese immigrants b Orig aboriginal and torres strait islander people correct question three which of these statements about the australia's first inhabitants is correct australia's indigenous cultures are the oldest non-continuing cultures in the world B. Australia's Indigenous people share common beliefs and traditions that still guide them today. Or C. Australia's Indigenous people have lived in Australia and Tasmania for between 5,000 and 10,000 years. They are all correct in a way. However, I'm going to say A. Australia's Indigenous cultures are the oldest non-continuing cultures in the world. Because I feel like all of them sound pretty good. I was wrong! Is B. Australia's Indigenous people share common beliefs and traditions that still guide them today. So, you know, they all sounded pretty good. I was still correct in a way, but I picked the wrong answer, so whatever. <laughs> Question four. When did European settlement begin? A. When gold was discovered in Australia. B. When the first 11 con convict ships arrived from Great Britain. Or C. When Captain Arthur Phillip arrived from Great Britain. Um... I'm going to say the convict ships because that's why they were settling. Discovering it, Mr. Philip discovering it, isn't him settling. So I'm going to say my answer is when the convict ships arrived. Correct. Question five. What is the name of the first 11 convict ships that arrived from Great Britain? A. The First Fleet. B. The Australian Fleet. Or C. The Convict Fleet. The first fleet, for sure. Correct! Question 6. Why did Great Britain send convicts to Australia in the 1800s? A. British laws were hard and all convicts had to be sent to, to Australia for forced labour. Um, B. Australian new free settlers needed labour for building infrastructure. Or C. British laws were harsh and the jails could not hold the large number of people in prison for their crimes. I'm going to go with C. There wasn't enough space for all their criminals, so they shipped him off down south. And that one is correct. Question 7. What happened in Australia on the 26th of January 1788? A. Gold was discovered. B. European settlement started. Or C. The colony of New South Wales was formed. Um... I'm going to say European settlement started. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, this this is a question I probably should know. Uh, but we didn't really learn a lot about Australia in, a, in history classes in high school. We kind of learned like things like ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, like that sort of stuff, rather than our own history. I know in America, having American history is a big subject for them, but for us, not so much. So I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say European settlement started just because I feel like it, it's a bit too soon for a colony to have been started yet. I was correct! Whoop! Whoop! 
Question 8. Who were the first large group of immigrants not from Europe in the 1800s? A. Chinese, B. East Indians, or C. Vietnamese? That is a hard one. I'm going to cross out Indians just because I don't think it was them. Um, so it's between Chinese and Vietnamese. I feel like the obvious answer is Chinese. Um, Vietnamese is probably possible as well, but I'm just going to take another stab in the dark and say Chinese. Correct. Question nine. In Australia, how do you call the Federation of States? A, the Federal States of Australia, B, the Commonwealth of Australia, or C, the United States of Australia. Um, it's not C and it's probably not A either. So I'm going to go B, the Commonwealth of Australia. Oop. I was correct. Ooh. Question 10. Halfway there, guys. How many languages are spoken in Australia? A. Over 200. B. About 100. Or C. Over 300. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe over 200? I don't know. Correct. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Question 11. How many mainland territories are in Australia? A, 4, B, 2, or C, 3? Now, I'm going to say 2. Northern Territory and the Australian Capital Territory. Fingers crossed I'm correct, right? Because if I don't know that, it's probably very, very sad. <laughs> Whew. Correct. It is 2. Question 12. What are the states of Australia? A, New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, Eastern Australia. I don't even need to continue. South Australia and Tasmania. A is wrong. B. New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, West Australia, Northern Australia. Don't need to go anymore. That is wrong. And South Australia. C. New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, West Australia, South Australia and Tasmania. C. For anyone who actually wants to know what the states are. Correct. If I didn't know that, I'd be a fucking dumbass. Question 13. What of the following is the smallest of the mainland states? A, New South Wales, B, Queensland, C, Victoria. Victoria. Queensland is like the second biggest one. Um, New South Wales is pretty much an average size one. And Victoria, of the mainland ones anyway, because Tasmania is obviously the smallest, I would go Victoria. Correct. Of course it is. <laughs> For any of you who are interested, I actually live in South Australia. Question 14. What do people celebrate on Australia Day? Hmm. All Australians who have served and died in wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations. All that is great about Australia and being Australian. And the birth of Australia's head of state, Queen Elizabeth. I mean, we celebrate her birthday in June, even though her real birthday is in April. So that's not it. It's definitely not about our people, our servicemen. That is Anzac Day in April. So Australia Day being in the 26th of January, I'm going to say B. All that is great about Australia and being Australian, which is fucking everything, man. Because Australia is the best. Correct. I'm doing so good on this. Oh, yeah. I'm so Australian. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Wait, wait, wait. Question 15. What was the commander of the first... Oh, who was the commander of the first fleet? Captain Arthur Conan Doyle, Captain Conan Philip, Captain Arthur Philip. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Um, there's two Phillips in this, so maybe that's something to go by. I knew we had Captain Arthur Phillip in a previous question, so maybe that's a hint. Um, but I feel like I, it'll just be Conan Doyle just because I didn't pick a Phillip. <laughs> um, I'm going to say Arthur Phillip just because we had him in a previous question, so. I was correct. That's right. I pay attention. Oh, yeah. Question 16. What is the significance of Anzac Day? Well, I've already mentioned this, but A, Anzac Day is a solemn day where we remember the arrival of the first fleet from Great Britain in 1788. Anzac Day is named after the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, which landed in Greece during World War One. Or Anzac Day is a solemn day where we remember the sacrifice of all Australians who served, died in wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations. The obvious answer looks to be B. It's definitely not A. Um, C sounds really good. It's where we recognise all of our soldiers, not just the 
Anzacs, which is what it's named after. This is hard because both the answers are correct in a way. Because I know during Anzac Day services, yes, we talk about World War One and that landing. Oh wait, it wasn't in Greece, was it? It was in Turkey. So B is wrong. Ah, so I'm gonna go for C. So yes, they landed in Gallipoli in Turkey. I think it's Turkey. Is in Gallipoli and not in Greece. So therefore, it's obviously C. And I was correct. I am so smart. <laughs> 17. What are the colours of the Australian national flag? If I don't know this, my thumbnail would be very fucking wrong. A, blue, white and red. Black, white and red. Blue, grey, red. I can tell you right now that blue, white and red, although Americans seem to love to take claim over the colour combination, is the most common colour combination for flags out there. So, blue, white, red. You get my vote. And guess what? You're correct. Question 18. What is the official symbol of the Commonwealth of Australia? A. The Union Jack. B. The Commonwealth Coat of Arms. Or C. The Commonwealth Cross. I'm going to say the Coat of Arms. Correct. I am so fucking good at this, guys. If this is just one chapter, I'd fucking pass whole chaps, man. Come on, I'd pass this test. 19, almost there. What are Australia's national colours? Blue and gold, green and blue, green and gold. Well, if you've ever seen the Olympics and you'll see any Aussies that are in the stands cheerleading or even just the athletes' outfits, green and gold, my friend. Correct, correct. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Number 20, last question for the quiz. What is the first sentence of Australia's national anthem? Well, if I didn't know this, I'd be very un-Australian. A, with golden soil and wealth for toil. It is a sentence in the anthem, yes, but it's not the first one. Advanced Australia Fair, the title and one of the lines, however, not the first. Australians all let us rejoice. Now we got ourselves a winner. Correct. I have officially finished the test. Well, this chapter of the test, because on the government site that I'm on, you can only do a chapter at a time. I got 19 out of 20. 95%. Uh, I think I fucking passed it. So yeah, I am so Australian. Like, if I didn't pass that, I would be a disgrace to my people. So if you liked this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. And comment down below if there's any other... Um, citizenship tests from other countries that you want me to do see if I actually know anything about other countries not just the one I've been living in my whole life so yeah let me know down below about that one but yeah I'll see you in the next video guys see ya